All right, turning now to what is good. Operating a small business can be a daunting task, as you know. One in five startups close within a year, and only a third of them make it to their 10th anniversary. But there's an organization that's bringing local businesses together and helping them raise much needing fu needed funds. Our Amy Pafras joins us now to tell us what's good. Good morning, Amy. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Good morning, Giselle. Statistics show 41% of black businesses closed during the pandemic, and those numbers continue to hold steady with new businesses like the Heart Department struggling to remain operational. The founders of Prosperity Market, though, are helping this and three other businesses facing similar issues with their initiative, Together We're Greater. Poet Shelley Bruce is a nurturer by nature. As CEO of the Heart Department, she waters more than the many plants that occupy this co-working space. The Heart Department really feels like you come here and you're in your emotions and your feels and you have an amazing experience and it inspires you to go back into your community, back to your local organization, it inspires you to go back into the world. Described as a BIPOC community center at the intersection of arts, wellness and social justice, in the past year, Shelley says they've hosted 250 events and welcomed over 25,000 people in this space. Situated in the Arts District, Shelley took over the top floor of this building last year and has since provided a place of healing for individuals and a meeting space for nonprofits and small businesses alike. It very much feels like this is my dream come true. Like, I feel like all the years, the last 10 to 15 years of being a community organizer, a poet and painter myself. She's used her decades of connections to bring the community together here for yoga, music, and comedy nights. But while business is growing steadily, the Eagle Rock-born artist is in jeopardy of losing it. She says she's been asked to take over the full two-story building, which means higher rent, something she can't yet afford a year into starting her small business. Not ready to pack up, she's giving it all she's got to raise the money and expand. Now gaining the support of Carmen Diane and Kara Still, founders of Prosperity Market. Carmen says their mobile farmer's market was always meant to go beyond the food space and into the heart space. We started Prosperity Market so that we could be a support system and build an ecosystem for all these amazing businesses and entrepreneurs that we have. Along with the Black Cooperative Impact Fund, they've launched Together We're Greater, a fundraising campaign for the Heart Department and three other Black-owned businesses. Kara says instead of waiting for someone else to help, they are taking charge with a goal of raising at least $100,000. This is the way to be able to build communities, build small businesses, and support the business owners that you know and love. Shelley says it's nerve-wracking thinking about the possibility of having to find a new place for the Heart Department. But she's keeping the faith and taking time to rest in the comfort of a community she's worked hard to build. It's really given me so many moments of peace and validation when I felt alone. No matter where the physical space, the heart department will beat on. Learn more about the heart department at theheartdepartment.org and follow on social media to stay in touch despite what happens with the physical space. The heart department, I love it. <laughs> yeah. How can we support them? Great question. Well, the Together We're Greater campaign aims to raise at least $100,000 to split evenly amongst the Heart Department, the Plant Chica, Lazy Rose Cafe, and California Coffee Company help these four black and brown businesses access critical funds to stay afloat. They each have their own unique and inspiring stories. You can learn more about each of them at prosperitymarketla.com. Always bringing us something good. Amy Pafta, thank you so very much. Have a great Tuesday. You too, Giselle.